Hello everyone and welcome to the EBS50 Quick Start Guide tutorial. My name is Jorgen Roodhuis, I'm one of the developers of the ESL server software that's running on the EBS50. And I'm very pleased to show you our latest product, the EBS50. Once you receive the EBS50, you will receive a power supply and the EBS50 itself. So, let's start with the EBS50. If you open up the box, you get the mounting bracket for the, ES, uh, for the EBS50. You get the uh, quick start guide, which basically gives the same information that I'm now explaining to you. Uh, safety regulations and a couple of antennas for the uh, wireless communications with your ESLs. And of course, the EBS50 itself. So let's take it out of the packaging. It's in a foam cover to keep it safe and wrapped in plastic. So this is the EBS50, let's unpack it now. Take off the protective seal. Then we take the antennas and we open the packaging to get them out. Then on either side of the EBS50 are antenna ports and we will screw on the antennas like so. You can also change the direction of the antennas in order to improve the uh, connection it has to your ESL labels. And that's the EBS50 ready to go. Then of course we need some power. So we have a switching power supply that you can use in any country. It comes with a variety of plugs. The uh, European connector, the uh, type F I believe. This one is what we will be using. But if you are in the uh, UK, there is a UK plug. If you're in the US, there's a US plug and like I said, it's a switching adapter so it will work on both 110 and 230 volts mains. And of course, the power supply itself, a standard 12 volt power supply. We've got our connector for the power mains. We slide it on and then we can unpack the cable and put it in any wall socket. So we have our power supply. We will also need to connect the uh, EBS50 to the network so that we can manage the uh, hardware through a browser interface. So it's as easy as plugging in your LAN port, your ethernet cable, plugging in the power, and then the unit boots up. You can see the uh, indicators here that give uh, a good feedback on how the unit is uh, functioning. So right now it's only got a power light because it's booting up the hardware. So in a couple of seconds, the other lights will light up as well. The uh, CPU activity, disk and Wi-Fi activity, radio activity for the ESLs, and our network connection. And that's all you need to do. This is the physical installation of your EBS50 complete. Now the EBS50 has a Linux computer on board that runs the uh, ESL server software that you need to manage your ESLs in the store. And since the device has no screen output or keyboard or mouse, instead we use a browser. So we'll just open any browser and we'll go to HTTPS ebs50.local. That address is also written on the uh, bottom of your unit and it's also in the quick start guide. You will want to go to ebs50.local. We press enter and we will connect to the ebs50's onboard server running the software. So now we see the uh, interface on ebs50.local. If you start it up for the first time, you might notice it's saying that it's not secure. You might even have to accept that this is a self-signed certificate from uh, Opticon. You can also add your own certificate, of course. 
that is a more advanced topic that we will address in one of the other tutorials. So this is the default login screen and it has a default set of credentials to enter the software, which are admin and once again admin for the password. Of course, we would suggest that you update it as soon as you've got your system running. It will log in and will present us with the dashboard. Now the dashboard is basically the landing page of the entire system and it gives us an overview of the health of the system. So it's telling us that our ESLs are okay. There is a single ESL now online on the uh, base station. If you have uh, ESL labels with your uh, order, the uh, EBS50 is designed in such a way that the channel that it is operating on can be found by every single ESL that you have. So the moment you turn the uh, EBS50 on, ESLs will be able to find it and connect to it and present themselves through the software. So we already got one, so that's a good sign. The base station, that is the two antennas on the EBS50 that connect to the ESLs, is also functioning correctly. We have a MySQL database running on the EBS50 hardware with 31 demo products, which is also running just fine. And the links, which are the connections between our physical labels and the data from our database, are also okay. We just haven't made any links because this is a completely new unit. And that in a nutshell is how you physically install the EBS50 and how you can connect to the software that is running on the EBS50 to start managing your ESL labels. There are other tutorials in the series as well. Be sure to check in the description for the playlist. If you want to contact Opticon with more questions about the EBS50, the content information is also in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.